This is Papa Brad coming at you with a video asking iArcade, what happened to the game Ashura Blaster? Let's check out this game, which has not made its way into the iArcade store. They have a video on the iArcade website. Let's check it out. Ashura Blaster, this game was developed uh, published by Taito, developed by Visco Corporation. This game came out in 1990. The vertical scrolling helicopter themed shoot 'em up. The funny part the game is supposed to be set in 2020. In this game, you take control of a helicopter and you fight a variety of different military vehicles, ships tanks, aircraft. Now this would be a good game to release. So here's a shmup that we don't have that IRK definitely has because they have videos on it. Uh, what's the hold up? Let's get this one out. This one looks like fun. Like two players can play at once. This would be another game that would be good for some online co-op play. Disco Pixel Heart. Game is not in the store. I arcade, let's make it happen. Fast forward a few short weeks later, and they drop the game on us. Ashra Blaster. Fantastic 90s themed helicopter shmup. I mean, this is definitely one that I wanted to see them get. This game is definitely great. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably rate this game in the eight to nine category. Um, probably closer to the nine than the eight, but not in the 10 category. As far as the shmups go for its time period, they're really good. There's a good variety of scenery and enemies. I like the backgrounds are really cool. They have all kinds of different enemies. The title screen is well done with the helicopter raising out of the background. Um, there's really cool uh, intermission scenes with an anime chick. She tells you what you're going to be blowing up. Um, this is one of those kind of games that you just turn it on, you turn your brain off, and you just shoot stuff. And uh, I love these kind of games. Uh, it plays great. It's silky smooth. If you like games like Raiden, you know, this is kind of like that style. I mean, the enemies are going to fire uh, like barrages of bullets at you, a lot like they do in Raiden. But it's definitely not an easy game either. Um, that being said, this game is pretty forgiving. It lets you continue from where you left off. Um, so you can run the game, and I think the high score boards are really going to be a matter of endurance to get those super high scores. In this game, you know, if you like helicopter based shmups, I think you're definitely going to like this one. I mean, look at this. How cool is this? Four different bomb types you get to pick in between levels. Each bomb has unique characteristics and different properties. The Shura bomb creates a huge mushroom cloud in front of your ship. Not unlike the bomb that you'd find in the excellent Shmup Raiden. Uh, this bomb I found has decent coverage and excellent power. Another good bomb is the Ashura Flash. This does a bunch of small explosions. Um, it's not as powerful as the Shura bomb although the effect of damage is larger. This is a good bomb for destroying stuff on the ground. You have the fire wave, which scorches the ground with a rolling napalm firewall. How cool is that? This is the weakest bomb, but it gives you the greatest uh, spread and coverage. Um, it also travels all the way um, forward through the screen. And then you have the satellite bomb, and you kind of aim the weapon. You press the button once to arm it, and you press it once again. Uh, it's very powerful, um, 
but it's pretty hard to use. I tried to use it and it wasn't really my fave. Of course, your types of weapons vary a lot. You have anything from missiles, which I'm using right here, show you what the missile firepower looks like. Then of course you've got, you know, basically your wave blaster. Shoots the bullets in kind of an elliptical pattern. Pretty good weapon. And you got the stock weapon, which is called the Vulcan Cannon. This weapon can actually be pretty good if you can get it powered up enough. I'm just going to roll it out with some gameplay clips. I'm not going to show you all the bosses. This game has a ton of bosses. And if you like shmups, I mean, this has a great play mechanic. Um, I felt right at home playing this. Um, I love this genre. And this is another good example of a, a game that's ideally suited to be played on iArcade. I think it's a really good shmup. It's well balanced. Has a lot of different weapon types. I like the backgrounds. Um, you know, it's a deep game. You got a lot of power ups for your weapons. Uh, it's not super short. You got a lot of bosses. If you like 90 shmups, I'd say check this one out. Uh, I would give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Probably almost a 9. It's very strong. If you like 90 shmups, check this out. A lot of fun. We got leaderboards on it for arcade. We got online co op as well. Um, yeah, good release, I Arcade. Well done. This has been Papa Brad. Thanks for watching. If you like home arcade content, consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that thumbs up. And as always, stay legit.